Hi everyone, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here with another PB&J card class. And in today's video we are going to be doing some no line watercoloring and we will be featuring one of Penny Black's newest creative dyes, this Love Edger die, which I love because I feel like it really does the card designing for you and you can just enjoy the process. So before we begin here I'll give you a look at the products I will be using from Penny Black. The first is 51-759 Love Edger. I'm also combining this with the 30-666 Only You Sentiment Set and 40-511 Crimson Blush. And this is one of our cling stamps. So what I've done is I went ahead and die cut that Love Edger die. So you can see it cuts the word love and then you can also if you want to cut the border above it as you can see there so that you can use that in your card design. I had the word there while well, I stamped that sentiment today and always so love today and always now I've removed that singular word love out of the way and it'll be coming back in just a minute and now I've got out my cling stamp and I am stamping that with distress inks onto Canson 140 pound watercolor paper now the distress inks are a water soluble ink so you can see here when I add water I can go ahead and blend out some of those lines that are a part of the stamp. I've also pressed my ink pad down onto an acrylic block and I am picking up some of that extra ink if I want to darken or add some shading. I am working on petals that are not right next to each other. That way the wet areas aren't touching and they don't start blending and bleeding into each other and just having one blob there instead of a rose. But this is just another way to get a no line watercolor look. Now if you wanted to go very simple you could just stamp this I think even in like a light gray down at the bottom and have that die cut sentiment up at the top and that would be a really beautiful modern looking card as well. I really enjoy painting so I thought I'd bring you along the process as I stamped and painted this. Now I am stamping in the Misty Stamp Positioning Tool and you can't see it but the stamp is still on the door or in the stamp positioning tool. I have not moved it and I have not moved my paper so that I can go back and stamp the other parts of this image. So I like to just work section at a time and I find that the ink blends a little bit easier if I just work section by section. I use the mini distress ink pads that way I could sort of turn them on the side and they're smaller so I could get the red ink and the pink ink on the rose and the green inks onto the leaves. But if any of that sort of over stamps for you like you get a little green ink onto the rose. Just wipe it off with your finger before you press it onto your paper. Now all of the exact colors that I'm using and all of the supplies, all of the Penny Black supplies are listed down in the YouTube description box below and linked to our online store. And then I've also listed all of the supplies that I'm using. So if you want to know the exact colors that I'm using, just look down in that YouTube description box below and they will all be there for you. So here on these leaves, I am layering, some are a little bit more of a turquoise and some are more of like a, just a regular olive -y green. And that way I can have some of those layered on top of each other and it just gives a little interest and I want this to have a light, loose look to it. So I'm okay if some of the petals or some of the leaves lose their detail as I'm coloring them. That's why I chose this particular ink so that I could have that very loose, soft look. Now I am adding just a little bit more shading in a few spots here. And you can see I pressed that ink pad down on my acrylic block and I'm just picking that up with a little bit of water and adding that in there. Now I'm using those exact same colors, there's my acrylic block, to paint this sentiment. And I've kind of followed a formula here on this card. So I have done the flowers and the sentiment in the same color. And then I'm going to add some butterflies and some background inking that are in the same color. 
And if you wanted to make multiple cards following this sketch with this love edger, you could. You could grab any of your flower stamps and stamp them below, paint them whatever colors you would like, and then paint your sentiment the same color. And then add some butterfly die cuts and do the background inking and the butterflies in the same color. And everything very nicely coordinates and looks very balanced. And I love that when I can just make that decision one time and apply it to lots of cards. And if you stay tuned here at the end of the video, I'm going to show you another card where I did sort of follow that same formula. So I layered two of those love die cut words together just for some extra dimension and now I'm adhering that onto this panel of the card. Now here is that inking I was talking about. I'm using some distress inks and an ink blending tool with a foam pad and I am just very lightly inking so that just a touch of this yellow, just a bit of a glow is popping up behind that edger die and that's what makes that love edger so fun. There's lots of different ways you can play around with that. And again, like I said, if you stay tuned at the end of the video, I have lots of other ideas to share with you. So I'm just going back and forth and you'll see I'll put that panel on top just to make sure that I'm getting it in the right spot. And again, all those exact colors will be listed down in the YouTube description box below. Now I've got some butterflies from the 51-731 Soaring Creative Die Set. I reach for this one a lot. I've just stuck them on a piece of painter's tape to make it easier to ink them. And I'm using the exact same colors as I did that background inking. Then everything will just match and coordinate beautifully. So I'm just inking those up and then I will add them to the card. Now my painted panel that has the word love on it, I did add this using uh, foam adhesive so it's popped up a little bit and then I added all of this to a standard A2 size card, four and a quarter by five and a half inches and there is the completed card. Really easy and simple. Now here is another using sort of that same formula although here I did the background and the word love in matching colors and then I use neutrals for the butterflies and the background inking in the behind the word love. But again, very similar idea. Now here are some bonus card ideas using this love edger. So these are some more cutesy style cards and here I've done the die cutting and that love edger lower on the card and added my focal points above it. And I love this because it gives you a place if you have critters or something that needs to be standing somewhere, they can be tucked just a little bit behind that word love and that edger part of the die that cuts that border there. And it's just really fun to play around with that different designs with this love edger. It's a really versatile die. And here is one more. Again, I could have those little critters standing right there on that love edger and do a little inking and sentiment stamp stamping here above that word love. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up. You can also connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as Instagram, our website and blog. And all of those are linked for you down in the description box below. Happy stamping!